Welcome to my MemberVO review. Please watch full demo video of MemberVO and if you want to read full article then click on the link below and get $3,695 bonuses if you purchase from ReviewGenuine.com. In this demo I want to give you an overview of how MemberVO works. You can see here we have a whole bunch of products in our membership site. I'm going to show you one of them right here. Let us look at our Smart Academy product. And here are the modules that we have in our Smart Academy. Here's the introduction, the various modules, including some worksheets and checklists. We'll get to that a little bit later. I just want to give you an overview of what it looks like now. So as you come in, you will see the lessons right over here. So it starts with this section called Social Community Secrets, then an introduction about what the lesson is. You can see down on the left side you have the ability to move from one section to the other just by clicking. Now we are in section 2 here. You can have many lessons under one section to make sure to cover your content exactly how you want it. As you can see in this module, there are lots of sections and lessons. And then we get to the end of the module. Here is a place for some feedback and then some tracking where our students can mark that they have finished the lesson. You can navigate with the menu on the left side. That is the basic interface of a finished product, a finished course. So this is the basic layout of what it will look like to your customers and your students. Now let us take a look at how we can actually create a course inside of MemberView from scratch. Let us hop onto smart product sections here. Let's click on a new product and we're going to create a membership product. Click on the next step. We are going to call our product influencer marketing. Then a brief description. We will add here, this is a training on being an influencer in marketing. Then we add our course image right here. Find our image and select it to add. So we're going to click here and navigate to our images, select it and upload. Now we can do some simple editing right over here. We can crop it or rotate it, get it looking the way we want it to and just confirm our changes. And then our product support link, we can add the cancellation and refund policy as well. All the pieces that complete your sales process. You can also choose to be notified when your product is sold. We're going to go to our next step here. In this step, we're going to add pricing. What do you want to set our pricing for this product? You see, we have a variety of payment platform integrations. On this account, we have a bunch of them set up and you can have all of them set up if you would like. Right here, we've got PayPal, Paddle, Stripe and JVZoo and you can have a few others as well. I'm going to make this particular course for free right now. Then after selecting the price of free, we're going to add the price variant by clicking over here. Your price variance will be listed here. You can also have a variety of different pricing models. We then set the name of our price, maybe let's say November sale, you know, regular price. Ours is just free in this case, we'll add a description if needed, no charge. Then the thank you page that you want people to go to. We're going to send them to the default thank you page. Then we can limit who can actually purchase it or if anyone can. And then we're going to go to the next step. We can add actions here. More on that in just a little bit. We're going to go to the next step and now we can set up how we deliver this course. We want to send a welcome email and we can personalize it too. It includes by default their login information and a link to their course login page. All that is automated and ready for you. And I'm going to go ahead and click on create product. The product has been successfully created. Now we've got the framework to put our product in, that is upload our course into. And here it is, influencer marketing. Let's go ahead and edit that. So we're going to click over here. Of course, we do not have any modules just as yet because we just created the skeleton of this course. Click on create a new module. Here's the image we uploaded earlier. We're going to call our new module introduction because it is the first lesson, first module. And a new description as well, introducing influencer marketing. So let's go ahead and create a new module. Now our module has been created. We can go ahead and add a new lesson. What's the lesson name? Let's call it intro video. Click on create lesson. Now you can see the lesson we just created and we're going to edit that as well. And this is where we add our content. Just click on video. I've got my YouTube embed code. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that into the embed section right over here. Hit save and now it's been embedded. There is my introduction. I'm going to save my content. It has been successfully created. 
So here I can preview my content as well. I can then go back and edit that or delete that if I changed my mind. From here, I can hop back to my product overview and I can see my product right here. Right now, it's in draft mode, so I'm going to go ahead and publish that. And I'm also going to publish my lesson. You see below, the lesson has been successfully updated. At this point, I can click to preview the product that I have just created. And you can see here's my product. I can start the lesson, of course, but there's only one lesson in here right now. Here's the intro video that I have created. It is that simple to add a course to member video. Now let me show you some of the advanced features that I touched upon earlier. First thing we're going to do is to add a worksheet. So we're going to go into our influencer marketing course. We already have our content in here and now we're going to go up here to add a worksheet. Just click on add a worksheet, then enter the worksheet name and what kind of questions you want. We can choose from three different types, an open question, multiple choice and fill in the blank. Here we're going to go with multiple choice and it's added to the worksheet. Then we add our question, then each of the three options that we're going to pick in this case. Publish it by turning off the draft mode, save it and just have a look at it. When we preview our product, we just start the lesson and right there is our quick checkup worksheet. That's how you create a worksheet in member view. You can add files here as well. Just click on add files then you can drag and drop or browse to upload a file. You can put images, zip files, PDFs, even PowerPoint presentations and make them easily available to your students inside your course. If you go into settings, you will see that you have a few options. Now we skipped over actions earlier. So actions bring the power of automation to your membership site, making it much easier to grow your business. For example, you can say if the customer purchases this course, then you do this. For example, you can say if the customer purchases this course and you can select which price variant you want. You can select the people who purchase the free version, the full version, the basic version, whatever you want to do. We only have a free one for now, so we're going to pick that. Then you can tell MemberViewer to do something with the automation. So we can add them to an autoresponder. We can add them to a webinar event. We can even give them access to other products, add or remove tags. All these automations that you set up right here in MemberViewer will make your site run much smoother. Here's how we can manage the orders for various products that we own. You can do that from this page. We can also create coupons. Here's a quick overview of that process. Just click add new coupon, enter the coupon code, and we're going to call this one demo. We decide, do we want to set it to a percentage or a fixed price? I'm going to set it to say 10% off. Then we select which products it will work on. And there's some other options here too. We can set when it starts, when it ends, and how many times it can be used. So the coupons give you a lot of flexibility with your pricing. So if you want to run a special promotion for a week or just to certain customers, you can create a wide variety of coupons. Now back in our complete membership site, Smart Academy Training, you can see how all the modules and all other content have been added. You just click to access. Now I want to show you how we protect your content as well. Say someone wants to grab the text right over here. Maybe you've got a whole lot of text of your personal content. If someone wanted to grab it and claim it as their own, they would just have to highlight it, right click and then select copy. But you can't right click on this page. I'm right clicking on it right now, nothing. Now I'm pressing Control C, nothing, and it will not let me. You can see that we protect your information. It is one of our security features that gives you total and final control over your content. This also works on images. If you try and right click, nothing happens. This is one of the many ways in which we protect your data. So that is an overview of how MemberViewer works and some of the more advanced features that you can use for your business. There's a whole lot more inside and of course, we will have plenty of training for you on all the features as well.